secretary, and she is distrustful of this new male presence. She gives him the slip. As he emerges by the water's edge, his love interest is nowhere to be seen. While he searches for Latika, Kumal fails to notice a dark shadow creeping through the water. This refreshing oasis is home to an ancient predator. A crocodile. The herd of deer Kumal was stalking earlier has also made their way to the water's edge. Both Kumal and the crocodile wait and watch for any stragglers. One deer separates from the herd. The crocodile moves silently into position. manages to break free. But this missed opportunity will not go to waste. The deer may have escaped, but it is badly wounded. Its fate is inevitable, and Kumal doesn't let it out of his sight. The deer doesn't live long. This is a meal delivered to Kamal, courtesy of the crocodile. It may not be how he planned his first kill, but beggars can't be choosers. Each mouthful lifts his energy, empowered by fresh meat. Kumal heads out to find his mate. Letika is the key to Kamal's future. He has to win her acceptance. After all, she could bear his cubs. He spots her at the water's edge. She seems more relaxed. Maybe this is his chance. He follows her again and picks up a new scent. As he draws air across a sensory organ in the roof of his mouth, he detects a hidden message in the scent. She is in estrus and ready to mate. Kumal gives her the space she needs and slowly she allows him closer. Latika is only receptive for three to six days, but Kumal has to be patient, just like the peacocks. This is all part of the tiger's courting ritual. He moves in, 
but she stops him. He's trying to play his cards just right. The dance continues. She gives subtle signs that she is ready to accept his advances. Kumal has found a place to call home. His journey has been a difficult one. He's been a fugitive in many senses. He has come up against Khan, hunted by the villagers, and survived on his own for the first time. To end up in this Shangri-La, safe and secure for now, with a new mate 